Hey everyone, welcome along to uh, Buzzy Bee Budgets. Busy Bee Budgets? Buzzy Bee? Buzzy? Busy Bee Budgets. Anyway, I uh, forgot what the name of the channel was, that's not a good start, is it? So today I was just going to talk you through my week three cash stuff. Um, I was going to clear out my envelopes from last week um, and a couple of bits I'm changing about when I'm going to save my change, um, but also clear out what I've done this week and then stuff for next week. So if that sounds like something you'd like to watch, then please stick around. Um, and thanks to everyone so much for all the support and the community has just been amazing. Um, so thank you to everyone. It's just been such a nice way to kind of start my budgeting journey. So uh, first things first, I've got some additional First things first, I've got a new um, jar, which is just a Nutella jar um, that I cleaned out this week. Um, but I was gonna put my two pounds in here because I've been putting them in um, my lovely change jar so far. Couldn't make any more noise if I tried, could I? Um, so I was just gonna put them in there because they won't fit in my lovely pound uh, milk bottle. So I'm gonna put uh, two pounds in here, one pounds in here, and then the rest of my change back in my change box. And then when I was clearing up the house this week, I found this old change jar. So I thought I would um, pop it all in here just to um, make sure it's all in one place. So apologies for the noise because I'm going to do that all now. So... Right, so that's a good start. So I'm just going to pop this to one side and then we can kind of get into this week. So this week has been quite good. Um, I'm still kind of a bit surprised at how quickly my food budget seems to go. So um, I think I've got 20 pounds left in here and then a load of change um but yeah it just seems to be one that so we've not had takeaway this week or anything but it just seems to be i get through it and i've done a couple of the too good to go budget and um, the grocery hauls which i saw in mum in the north which have been really good but yeah even so i still seem to be kind of really yeah i don't know where my groceries money seems to go so i'm still meal plan and menu planning but i think next week I do, again i just and next month i just need to keep an eye on it because it is one of those that just seems to be going out of control so i've got 20 left and then i've got two four six seven and a load of change so i'm going to pop the change in the change jar and then what I'm going to do is keep five back from my shopping. So I've got 25 left over and I'm going to pop the other two pounds in my lovely Nutella jar. Oh, hang on. There's a, another couple of five peas adding in there. Uh, so I'm left with 25 back into my food envelope and I'll stuff that in a second. Uh, fuel, I've got nothing. I spent 40 pounds on fuel this week. Um, Self-care, I've got 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 left. Um, so I spent £20 on some eyelash serum. I don't know if you've ever used it, but I used... So before the pandemic, I used to get my eyelashes done all the time, um, which was like 50 quid every couple of weeks, every two or three weeks. Um, and then during the pandemic, I switched over to this stuff called Revitalash, um, which is a really good um, eyelash serum, and it's made my natural eyelashes grow much thicker. Um, but then one of my friends is... Um, does beauty products and she had an equivalent one which was much cheaper than what I paid for Revitalash. So I bought that for 20 pounds um, and it'll be coming soon and I'll let you know kind of how that gets on because I think the Revitalash is about a hundred pound a tube and this stuff is 20 so obviously it's quite a big saving. Uh, so I spent 20 pound on that and then I also spent 80 pound on massages because our lady came this week and I paid for me and my husband. Um, so self care is down. Um, clothes I haven't touched again so still 30 I think in there. Oh, 40, in fact, 20, 30, 40. And I think from next month, I'm going to change that into a sinking fund rather than a variable envelope, but I'll kind of do that when I do my clear out for next month. Um, nothing in socialising, I've spent all of that. So I went out with my best friend from school yesterday for lunch, which was lovely, um, but that used all my socialising money. Um, miscellaneous, I haven't actually touched this week, which is really good. So I've still got £10 in there. Um, so that's positive. Um, and then giving, I have donated... Uh, what was left in here which was £10 uh, to a good cause I saw um, a friend was doing at the sponsored walk for on Facebook um, but what I'm really loving about this giving envelope is I've spent it every week and it's just really nice to feel like you're using it so yeah just really loving that so far um, yeah really loving that so that's all good uh, so that is my envelope clear through um, so today I'm stuffing £200 which is my week three cash stuff uh, so those of you know I haven't kind of bought any of the budget planners yet I'm just been using my own um, bullet journal but that's working really well for me just because while I play around for it and kind of see how it goes and stuff 
so I'm really loving that at the moment uh, so we have got 200 pounds to stuff so let me just count that so I've got 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 100 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 200 it's always good when you've got the right amount of money isn't it uh so yeah mainly in tens this week i think i might do a bit exchange at the end of the month um we'll see how those go i'll move my change pots out of the way as well just so you can see this a bit better uh great okay so week four so this is like my last full cash stuff for this month and next week which is a week five i'm only going to cash stuff my um food um because what i've been doing is front loading my envelopes and i think i'll probably do that next month as well just because it makes me feel like at the beginning of the month i've kind of got a bit of good headway i guess on it or good like capital and um, so i kind of like that so i'm going to do that uh so food this week is getting 80 so let's do 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 uh, so that will leave me with 105 in here um and one thing i didn't do this month because obviously i'm Kind of brand new to it, it's my first thing um is um i didn't think about what i've got coming up so we're actually away next weekend um in a self-catering apartment but i think we're going to be like obviously buying food and meals and stuff so i haven't quite budgeted for that so i think i'm just going to try and find it out the food envelope for now um, and kind of see how i get on i can stuff the extra 70 before we go um but yeah i haven't really kind of thought that through so i think definitely next month i'll think more about what i've got coming up that month and what i might need rather than just like doing it a bit blindly which is kind of what i did this month but that's fine like we're on a journey it's good uh okay so that's food um so let me take these off as i go uh so fuel is going to get 10 um I put 14 pound in yesterday um but obviously we'll see how that goes for the rest of the month um might need a bit of a quick top up but I'm not driving huge amounts at the moment still uh, self-care is getting 50 um so 10 20 30 40 50 so this should now be back up to 150 uh, 20 40 60 80 90 100 110 120 130 140 150 um and I've got a couple of weeks before my next skin treatment so I'll continue to kind of say towards that um and I think this is kind of one which is like part sinking fun part, part variable so we'll see how that goes uh clothes isn't getting anything oh no hang on clothes is getting 10 so 20 30 40 and I'm going to add 10 to make that 50 um so yeah we'll see how we kind of go with that like I say I think what I'd like to do is change this into a sinking fund and only add to it when I've sold other clothes that I already have so the idea being that I kind of I guess I get a cost neutral kind of cost on clothes that didn't make any sense with it but you know what I mean that basically I don't only if I want to buy something I need to sell some other stuff or get rid of other stuff um to kind of do that so I think I'm probably going to do that from next month and switch that over uh socializing is going to get 20 um, I have got another lunch out next week, so that may not be quite enough, but I can always take it out of miscellaneous if I need to. Um, so that's getting 20. So uh, so next one is getting is gifts. Oh no, it's miscellaneous. Gifts is in my other binder, I'll have to get that in a minute. Uh, so miscellaneous is getting 10. It's nice to start building that one up again because I've kind of hammered that quite hard. Uh, and giving is getting 10 as well. Um, so that's nice like I said I really appreciated having that designated folder and it's definitely made me feel like I can just give to stuff when I see it um, which is kind of really lovely so that is all of those and then what I'll do swap my binders over and then get out the gifts one um, and this one is one that I'm stuffing quite hard so for those of you who saw my side hassle uh, cash stuff this one is stuffed quite hard because I've got quite a lot of birthdays coming up in March and April um, and it'll be good just to kind of, I need to kind of get to quite a high level quite quickly. So 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 30, 40 and that is 50. So I've got 250 in there which is good. I'm going to give it quite a heavy stuff next month um, and then I'll be able to go back to like a usual kind of my 50 pounds a month um, amount but um just because of like how it was when I started budgeting and the time of year it was had I started at a different point it wouldn't be so bad but and um, that's kind of a one-off one but yeah kind of really 
glad to kind of have that money I guess and I feel like about all of these things is I've been able to save much more money this month than I ever usually would um, and I think it's just being conscious of what you're spending and how you're spending it and where you're putting it all um so yeah it's been really good for that for me um next week I think when I do my clear out I'm going to count out how much I've saved um but I think it's probably a good couple of grand I'd love to get to a point where I'm saving 50% of my paycheck either into my sinking funds or other bits and pieces and I've got a couple of other categories I want to add in next week I think after having done this for a month I've kind of learned some different things I'd like to do a bit differently um but that's good that's all kind of part of the process um and whatever so there you go that was kind of my week three clear out week four cash stuff um so should be in good place for this week like I said the only thing I didn't really budget for was like our little trip away but um I'll know that for next time and like a better place of doing it and stuff so uh so yeah that's it so um what I will be doing at the end of this week is um a full kind of reflection on what I've learned from a month of um cash stuffing and then also build out my budget for March March is going to be the last budget I've got which is generous and then I'm going down to reduce hours at work so my income's going to drop and there was an issue with my tax and my student loan and stuff so I've got a bit of a big repayment um so that's kind of impacted it as well but it's good because I feel in control because of this system and I think had that not happened I would have just been a bit like would have dropped off working on some of my financial goals I think and probably just spent it all each month without thinking about it but I think I feel a lot more kind of happy with this approach and kind of what is good and then also what I will be doing in the next video is talking about savings challenges as well because I haven't really kind of dug into those and um, but I found a couple of ones that I want to get involved in so that's good as well so thanks for staying with me um appreciate it as always it's a bit of a ramble um love to know your thoughts about like what you're doing how you found February so far although it's a short month I still got five weeks in there and I didn't really think about that properly so I need to think about that going forward um yeah and any other lessons you think I need to learn or anything I need to think about then love to hear your comments below um if not I'll see you in the next video stay safe and have a lovely day bye